It was such a horrible experience. It's all over on my body. It even grew on my scalp. Get vaccinated if you have not. Hello everybody. As you can see on the title, I have chicken pox. It actually looks like makeup. Actually, I think it's beneficial to show people how chicken pox can grow in an adult. I think it can be pretty serious. Unlike, you know, a child, you have a few chicken pox, maybe 50, less than 50 if you are vaccinated or not at all. So I called my mom. My mom said she thought that I had been vaccinated. Of course, I don't remember if I've been vaccinated or no, but I surely remember that I am not have any chicken pox. So it's tuesday today it started on friday so friday i had my first pox over here that kind of looked like pimple and after like a few hours it turned into a, a, a pox i put a picture here that looks like a spider bite i thought it's some sort of bug bite but it's actually not these appeared and these looked like this and now it's swollen on the side that looks like a donut shape I don't know what that is, but I'm really worried. So I was just a little bit concerned about what bug is that because I don't want to be poisoned by, you know, I don't want to get Lyme disease or something. I felt tired walking upstairs to my room. Um, I felt like I have not much energy. I didn't understand why, but it wasn't like an obvious lack of energy thing. So yeah, first day I have a bug bite on my head and um, I felt like I was just tired. Second day on Saturday, um, that's when I have more on my forehead and then one or two on my chest, but it, it actually came really rapidly. In a day, 10 more can pop up. It can go from a tiny red bump that looks like a pimple. In a day, it will turn into a blister that have this clear fluid water in the bump. I, I lost my appetite on Saturday until today and I took ibuprofen so I can I could feel better because I felt like ha I have a little bit of fever and then on Sunday that's when things got a lot worse everything broke out it was on my uh, on my lips on here 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 edges everywhere <sighs> everything just broke out and then it was just everywhere on my chest on my back I made soup in the morning and I just sip on soup and rice a little bit before I took Tylenol. You know how you got bite by mosquito? It's like, oh, it's itchy. And then you scratch it. And after like 10 seconds, you scratch it again. But this one is every second. It itched forever and it's three times more itchy than a normal, typical mosquito bite. You cannot scratch that. And petting. It doesn't work because it's so itchy so i kind of like rub a little bit but not like scratching it was such a horrible experience the second day it wasn't itchy anymore because all the blisters were ruptured and now it hurts everything hurts even when i sleep i couldn't find a right position to sleep started having more around my armpit my hands i only have like a little bit at this point and then my thigh so on monday the fourth day, I decided to schedule a telehealth video call with the doctor and she prescribed three medicines for me. First, it's a blue tablet that looks like this. So this is not some sort of pills that can kill off the virus, but to you know speed up the healing process by reducing the number of uh, blisters and also you know have it to heal faster. And then the second one is, is for itching but in the oral form, I took this and the blue pill last night before I sleep and it knocked me down for 13 hours. I slept from 8 p.m. till 9 a.m. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I gotta get up and take pills again. I don't wanna miss the hours because I'm desperate to just recover fast. The third is ointment for itching. Honestly, it doesn't really itch anymore all around my body. I don't think I need them. I've been staying at home alone for the past four days. I'm not afraid of showing people actually. See? 
and oh and it even grew on my scalp i tried to wash my hair yesterday and it hurts but i have to wash it or it'll be very itchy and oily so i washed it and it felt like i achieved something really huge after washing my hair i also have a lot more behind my ears and my neck it's all over on my body i can see how it can be really serious for an adult to have chicken pox it's no joke let me show you my um back and my tummy and there's more down here I'm born in 1996. I heard after in 1992, the vaccine started rolling out. If you've been vaccinated, you should be fine. But if you haven't gotten yours, don't forget to go get one because the older you get, the worse it can get. And you don't want to regret this. Yeah. Hello, everybody. It's me with my chicken pox again. I'm going to pick up my husband later. But he knows that I got chicken pox. We FaceTimed before, but he hasn't seen my... Uh, face in real life before do you think he will be really shocked like whoa or like hey you look lovely let's see how he reacts <laughs> Hi everyone! This is 5 weeks after having chicken pox. I'm finally feeling like I'm back to normal after a month. I've been experiencing fatigue and tiredness. On day 7 or 8, the scalps have started to form. In a week, the scalps started falling off. But I still have that tiredness in me. You know, I just felt tired all the time. But it's not that tired to the point where I can't walk or do anything. So there's just a little bit of, you know, fatigue that I have with me. And also my face. I think there are some scars that I have on my face. It would take a while to get rid of them. But it's getting there. If you know any scar, cream or whatever that works perfectly for you, comment down below and... Let me know what works for you because I want to look pretty. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this video helps increase awareness. I thought that I have vaccinated, but you know, that happened to me. I hope that you are aware of this and go get vaccinated if you have not. Bye!